there guys it's Laura with blanket safe and I wanted to show you how I create the custom um, straps for like front closures um, these are the ones that typically we put metal grommets on but she does not want the metal grommets on there she just wants regular these front closure straps will be the ones that fold over with the snap um, that are totally adjustable and that have the D rings or triangle rings on them so I want to show you how I punch the holes and how I start to make them now, as you can see, I have already um, pre-marked these spots. I just um, used my little handy dandy tool to gently mark the spot without pushing the whole way through. So let's get started and I'll show you how I make these holes. Um, I was using a hot nail at one point and using a vise to hold the hot nail and a blowtorch to make it hot and individually punch them. But after having to reheat that nail almost after every single hole, it made it really difficult. So I highly suggest going to Lowe's and getting one of these little tools. Um, they also make like wood burning tools, which you can use that come with a whole different bunch of heads and stuff. I just use this simple one. I think it cost me about 40 bucks at um, Home Depot. So this is what I use. It'll save you some time. Um, it's really effective. So I'll show you how we get started. So like I said, I've already marked the holes where I want them to go. And then I put that in there and I gently press. All the webbing that we use is um, heavy duty polypropylene webbing. Since it's a front closure, I want those to be pretty thick and tight. Um, I make my front closure straps probably what you would consider heavier than what the horse blanket originally came with. I like it to be safe. I don't want them to fray and break again. I want it to last for the customer who's actually paying not a ton of money because as you know, if you follow my blanket repair business, um, that I do all blanket repair um, alterations and repairs at cost because I know as a horse owner, you're already spending a ton of money on other things, dentists, vets, barriers, hay, feed, some people boarding and lessons, so I keep it cheap. Um, but I do really heavy duty repairs because that's what I want. And then I just keep going down one by one. I smooth out the melted surfaces on each side. Sometimes, especially if you're using a nail and it's not really melting it really hot and um, really quickly, those edges can get a little rough. And I don't necessarily want, um, the customers rubbing their hands over these hold areas and thinking that they were didn't feel good or they were rough so i like to smooth them down typically if i'm putting on the grommets i punch that hole and while it's still melted and hot i go and i put the back on and then the front and i hammer it on there it makes it really um tight and flush with the nylon webbing so again with the nylon webbing i use heavy duty polypropylene. This is one inch. Um, I'm making a few different colors today, but right now I finished those colors. This was kind of un an unplanned video, but as is most videos that I do, but I figured you'd probably want to see how I make these custom pieces for our clients. It's heavy duty pro uh, polypropylene and it is two pieces of it and then I sew it together. Um, I really want them thick and durable. I don't want people's horse blankets breaking after I repair them. Alrighty. And one last strap to do. Today is so rainy outside and because this was unplanned, I'm just soaking wet from the rain, but I figured while it's raining and I can't ride, I might as well get some work done. I don't know if that was a good idea or a bad idea. Yep. Here we go. I will also melt the fabric, um, the webbing side that will hold the, it's the same piece that this will get sewn onto, but it will hold the snap on. So, oh, I missed a hole. There we go. So 
those aren't super in the middle. But again, um, this is custom work. I do all this custom for our clients because that's what I really enjoy doing. So how I will typically measure it out, usually if you're going to, you don't have to sew the buckle. It'll have a piece of fabric attached to it. I like to sew it underneath on this side of the fabric. So when it gets smushed onto the blanket, it's sandwiched between the blanket and this top piece. This will be one of the closures, be one of the savers for a webbing that'll get sewn on that side after the buckle is sewn in. Do you see what I'm saying? I don't know if you do or not, but I usually like it about a thumbs mark away. The fabric that I'm going to be using is going to be again um, that gets sewn onto the buckle. It's going to be the one inch heavy duty polypropylene. So I need to make this space here large enough to fit one inch polypropylene in there. Make it larger than you think. You're not going to see it anyway because the buckle is going to be in there and this is going to be over top. Make it large enough. So when you go in to sew it on, you're not fighting with it. We try to make things easy for our clients, not harder. So, and we wanna try and show you the tricks and the tips that we use for blanket repair. We've had to do this all ourselves. And I'm sure if you're in the blanket repairing business, um, and maybe, and hopefully you're not one of those people if you're watching this, but it seems like it's really challenging to get tips and tricks and help from other blanket repair businesses. They just don't want to help you. And we are completely here to help you when we can. Um, we don't have anything to hide, so we show you like we do it. I tend to score it first before I mark it, just to make sure that that's where I want it. And then I slowly go in and melt that away. Again, make sure it's big enough. You're going to be surprised that sometimes you're going to think, oh my gosh, it's such a big hole. Especially if you're putting grommets in there. I guarantee you're going to be like, wow. Um, but you need that hole surprisingly large. So again, I score it. And then I slowly go through and melt the fabric. If you want to do this with a nail, go for it. Like if you're not ready for the investment, um, do it with a nail and a vise. Hold that nail in the vise and heat it up with a blowtorch. Just be really careful because obviously it gets so hot, but it's going to take a lot longer. This little handy dandy tool has really cut down on the time that it takes me to do my alterations. And all of our alterations are custom done. So if somebody says they want purple or they want pink, you know, that's what they get. And we will keep going to a breakthrough. We do offer ship-ins. And this is, you know, if you have a heavy-duty machine, you know, maybe you're a blanket laundry that's watching this, or maybe you are just a DIYer and you like to do it yourself, you can do it. Um, as long as you have a heavy duty enough sewing machine. So that's about it for our pieces. Now it's time to get them inside and sew them onto our blankets. So if you have any questions, feel free to comment down at the bottom. Um, I would love it if you subscribed. We're going to try and really boost up our videos for the blanket safe content. So all of our straps that we make um, for horse blanket repairs and my own blanket business, as well as how to use our washes and get the best results possible. So if you like more of these, um, please subscribe. I would love to have a lovely following of horse lovers just like myself. And if you're facing yucky weather outside today or any day, I hope it gets dry for you and um, I'll hope to see you out in the rain. All right. See you guys.